And, and by the way, I mean, addiction has got different degrees to it. Yes. You know, you can have people slightly addicted to something and before it becomes a, a, a problem or mm -hmm. a huge problem uh, as the addiction grows. But the separation between people, mm. the damage that quietly, mm. this disconnect. Yeah. And most people don't realize it. So when they did study in the States, only 20% of people said that it impacts their well-being negatively. Right. 30% said, oh, no, it doesn't affect me at all. Uh, denial much. 10% mm. said it helps me. Mm. I feel better using it. So mm. again, like someone who might have a problem with alcohol or, or heroin or, oh, yeah. no, it's, I can control this. It doesn't impact me. I've got a grip on it. But you know, people, you people can feel good mm -hmm. doing something really bad for them. Yeah, yeah. We know this. Yeah. <laughs> people can feel really good mm. doing something that is on the, in the long term really bad yeah. for them. Yeah. So when we look at the psychology of this, when we look at these devices, these apps um, that have been designed to get more and more of our attention mm. and to put us in context with people that think in a certain way with us. Yes, okay? absolutely. Because I remember as a kid, we didn't have devices. We only had one TV for the whole family. The whole family used to watch the same thing all together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We didn't have influencers telling me, oh my God, you're such a great woman. You go, girlfriend. <laughs> or um, you need to work harder in your business and, be, and have a Bugatti. Yeah. Whatever it is that this, mm -hmm. these algorithms are pushing mm. us to do, mm. It's influencing how we think. Oh, yeah. And we're becoming more separated, not just emotionally and psychologically in terms of attention, but we're also becoming more separated in terms of ideology. Yes. But in, so if you end up listening to certain influencers, and I end up certainly to influence, I put the commas in influencers, uh, because the algorithm is pushing that, we could literally become... Yeah intellectually separated yeah definitely well we're seeing that yeah. such a big divide between in so many different areas yeah. and topics and this is what's happening in politics as mm -hmm. well not just mm -hmm. in the family yeah yeah right uh, the biden supporters think that everything that trump says is lie. the trump supporters they say think that everything that biden says that there's a huge divide mm -hmm. and it's very much politically influenced yeah. by the algorithms that people yeah. are watching yeah. politically Racially, mm -hmm. gender. Yes, we're seeing all absolutely. of these, all of these massive separations, which are not. I mean, a personal story. We had years ago a, a conversation mm. online with a very dear friend of ours around something to do with the pandemic. I don't even remember exactly what it was, um, and there were different perspectives. And, and what happened, as so often you see happen, is other people start jumping in with their opinions and, you know, stoking the fire and creating conflict and creating disagreement uh, to the point where we had to sort of stop the conversation online because it was becoming very nasty. Yeah. And, you know, I remember saying to Peter at the time, if we were having this discussion around a dinner table, this is our good friend, it would be an enjoyable you know, interesting debate conversation, but it turned really ugly to the point where we weren't even in contact for a few years. Um, and eventually, you know, we're able to reconnect offline yeah. and everything was fine. You know, they acknowledged like, well, you know, I know you, you're a good person. I don't know how we got to this point, but we've seen a lot of friendships and, and family relationships disintegrate through that sort of conflict. Yeah, and there's something that has crept in in the last few years mm. that didn't exist before, is this idea that if you don't think exactly like me in a certain area, you must be a really, really evil person. Yeah. There's, no, there's no in between. And I can't have you in my life. And, and I can't have you, you that's it. I have to cut you off because a, a good person would never, I cannot have that. Mm. So that kind of yeah. approach is dividing yeah. society and, when and it's dividing it's... families and it's dividing people. How does that impact their mental health? We're seeing anxiety has increased. Mm -hmm. In the last mm -hmm. three, four mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. anxiety has gone through the roof. Yeah. People are more irritable. We have a shorter fuse. Mm -hmm. This is impacting, mm -hmm. right? Well, and people are more willing to, you know, be nasty and say things online that you wouldn't say face to face no. to another human being. No. Um, and another story, a good friend of ours advertised his car for sale online. You know, that sounds like that's a very... You know, non-emotional, easy thing to do, good use of the technology mm. to advertise. 
immediately got people saying, oh, what a piece of junk that car is. You're asking for too much. Why would you have that car? Like things that there was completely no need for, they're strangers. Why? Why do people feel you think, so... You think that's a bit of... That I, I, I'm thinking now, mm. this is very similar to what happens to people with cars. When they get in the car, they're yes. likely to express anger that they wouldn't if it was... If they didn't have the normal, barrier of if they the didn't capsule. Have a ca capsule of the car. Yeah. And we call that road rage. Yeah. I wonder if we should have a, a, new, a new term, social media rage. Because yeah. people are willing to say things that they wouldn't say in person. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're rude. But they wouldn't do that in person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then Social the other rage. aspect of, I think we can come up, we can workshop that name. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, we, but the other aspect was his response to it, like a mm. real loss of faith in humanity, mm. which yes. I think a lot of us have experienced. Like, how can one person, you know, just yeah. be mean for no reason to another? Like, and that, that is, is one of the impacts. And I know the research is showing that people have, uh, what was it? 67% of people feel a dip in self-esteem when they've been on social media. Wow, well, that's very high. Uh, particularly that, that comparison. Because yeah. remember, we're comparing to everyone else's filtered highlights of their amazing lives. And what I noticed a few years ago was, you know, because I'm a human being too, and I naturally fall to the same process, you compare. I'm not just comparing against one person's life. I'm expecting myself to achieve all of the achievements <laughs> of everybody's <laughs> life. And for me, it's like the, the professional comparison because it's not just, you know, people <clears throat> always talk about beauty and, and lifestyle and things like that, but it's also the professional achievements. That person's won an award in that. That person's published a book. That person's done this retreat. That person's done this mm. th 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 presentation. And you go, or oh, I need one. to do all of those things or to be one. equal. They, their post has got so many, so many more likes than mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why do about, they get so many? And it was about a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and it was about a dog. <laughs> it wasn't even that important. <laughs> knowing this can help keep some perspective. <coughs> so knowing this can help keep some perspective, yeah. but it still impacts our well-being. So mm. those comparisons, fear of missing out. Um, one of the interesting ones, you know, the consequences that we see of this is the emotional regulation mm. skills. Yeah. And this is one that I think is really important because... What do you mean by that? So that ability for our, to, be, to be able to manage our own emotions. Mm. And what we do when we log on to this is we give away some of that control over our own emotions because it's designed to keep us excited, to put us in a state of fear, to keep us you know, constantly moving from one thing to another so that we buy because it's all about advertising at the end of the day. Mm. Uh, and it's very hard to combat that psychologically. You know, we can develop some skill in that area, but you've got to be really onto it all the time. You know, the and difficult thing with, with what you say mm. is that in the beginning, it doesn't feel like that. When mm. you open Facebook, it doesn't feel emotional. No. When you open Instagram, it doesn't feel emotional. It feels nice. There's mm. lots of visual stuff. Um, we don't have to spend a lot of time in each post because they're very little and it moves quickly. Mm. But then all of a sudden you end up two and a half hours, three hours later, and you've looked at thousands of little things that were not taking any time at all. Mm. And you haven't been able to pull away because the next pose is even more interesting than the last one. And the next one is even more interesting. And what happens is you've been sitting down mm. building up this energy that hasn't gone anywhere. Because mm. we, as human beings, mm. we're designed to move. This is our body's designed to move. If we don't move, energy gets stored up. Hmm. What, where does this energy go? If it, mo most people say, oh my God, I'm so exhausted right now. I better lie down. So they collect even more energy. Yeah. If that energy hasn't got anywhere to go, that turns into anxiety because the body's going to tell you, hey, we need to hmm. move. We need to move to use this energy to use our body. It doesn't so, say it so with those this, words, but this is what this, it's trying to say. It's limitless. And it gives you anxiety, so you move. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.